Hey guys, it's Dallas with Nexus 5 Soft Modder, and today we're going to check out how to use the USB on the go functionality that came built in with your Nexus 5. Now to take advantage of this functionality, there is an external piece of hardware that you'll need to purchase, but it's pretty cheap. You can get it for less than $2 off Amazon with shipping and everything included. It's this little guy here. If you search USB OTG on Amazon, you'll find one of them really quick. Uh, basically on one end it's a USB port that you can plug any USB device into and on the other end it's a micro USB port that plugs right into your Nexus 5. Now if you were trying to plug a USB thumb drive into this and into your Nexus 5 you would notice that nothing actually happens because out of the box the Nexus 5 does not support USB thumb drive attachment. But if you get this handy little app by the awesome de developer Chainfire called Root Stick Mount. You can get that taken care of really quickly on your rooted Nexus 5. First up though, when you install it, open it up and let it download these extra files. And while it's doing that, I'll go ahead and attach these guys to the Nexus 5, if I can find which side. And I'll do that off screen down here with the other end real quick. And it's a little bit firm on this one. But as soon as you do that though, you'll notice a new pop-up where Stick Mount is asking, should I mount this new USB drive? You can tell it OK, or you can also tick this little box so that every time you connect this particular USB drive, it'll just do this automatically and silently in the background. So I'll do that, and then all of a sudden it'll ask for super user privileges, which obviously you should grant. Then give it a couple more seconds, and up here on the top you'll notice mass storage device mounted. This notification is an ongoing notification so it has things like unmount which if you use Windows you're familiar with you want to uh, eject media before you just unplug it so that you don't damage the actual uh, drive. But from here it's simple you just start uh, you just jump into your favorite file browser app and if you uh, well I suppose I gotta refresh this one so I'll back out and jump back in here Um, if you scroll down on your SD card uh, folder, you'll notice a new folder called USB storage. That's the one that we just plugged in, so you hit that and you navigate through it just like normal. And all of a sudden, you can open up and play any uh, media, any picture, video, um, MP3, such and such. Uh, this won't actually integrate itself into things like... Uh, Google Music, uh, Photos, etc. without actually purchasing the Pro version, but it's just actual, uh, it's just a really simple step to just walk through your um, root file browser real quick and jump into the, in the, into the individual files. But for a more complete guide, there's a article I got linked out in the description just below this video. And as always, we would appreciate it if you would like and comment on these videos and subscribe to our channel. So we'll see you again next time, guys. But until then, happy soft modding.